Hello everybody, my name is Ross and welcome back to another one, Ross for Slooks. In this episode we're gonna take an, a look at the new gothic that um, they released. Currently they released actually the teaser for the game, so you can actually play the teaser, which I think it's around like uh, maybe one hour long, I'm not 100% sure, as I saw some people playing it, but mostly they cut out. So, you know, if I don't play it myself, I'm not going to know, or if I don't Google it, but I did not. So, I'm going to read this. In 2001, a legendary game series was born, Gothic, and that's true. I actually really like the game, and I played um, all four Gothics that are, like, currently available. And in my opinion, I think the first one and, like, the second one are the best games from the Gothic series, and I think... What they're trying to currently do now is trying to reboot this series, and because I'm a big, big fan, I was like, the second I found out they actually can play this teaser, I was like, oh, I'm gonna actually take a look at this and play it myself. Gothic. And in uh, 2019, the series became part of the THQ Nording, and, uh, and uh, as a huge fans of the original game, we began thinking and experimenting about what we... Uh, what could we do with it? While exploring ideas, we realized that Gothic is still iconic, but simply doing a remake wouldn't work. Therefore, we tried a new approach, reimagining re the whole thing. To be sure that this is the way to be, uh, the way, the, pff, I can't read, the way to go, we decided to approach in this situation in a totally unique way. We want to give you an early prototype of the game and ask for your thoughts and feedback. We want to make this game great for you. So currently, the feedback is mixed on this. I was checking the Steam, and I hope they actually take the feedback of the people. Because I think, for me, in my opinion, a remake would be great. But the problem is, like, Gothic 1, it's, like, made in such an, like, in an old fashion, you could say. Like, it's, um... On an old platform, made specifically for old machines, like somehow integrated, you know, in that period so you can actually make the game itself. And I think it's impossible for them to kind of recreate the same experience, in my opinion. But I think if they want to do a remake, I would be really happy. Like the same story, same premises, same construction, same, just like everything basically improved upon the first game. I think that would be like really good. And also I would love to see like a second game reboot, but like same thing, like not changing too much to the whole game in 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 a way that they would like completely change it and the like the people that like the original fans basically that come from behind of it, they wouldn't like recognize the game or they would think like, oh this is a different game. And I think it's really hard to do that because for example like the only game that I know that did that in a way that's like, sorry if I talk too much and if you're like here for the game you can skip ahead. Like the only game I knew that it did that when it comes to like RPGs and stuff, it's like Skyrim. Like Skyrim it's like a really good um, game that continued like the Elder Born Scrolls series. And for me, I never played the other games before, but I think if you look at the other games before, they do kind of like, you know, Skyrim kind of represent those other games. But yeah, without being said, let's try to get into it. Uh, when we start thinking about the possibility of doing a gothic remake, we immediately thought about the amazing atmosphere, the original game delivery. Yeah, that's true, you just like listen to music and go through the woods and like beating dogs and, <laughs> and wolves and shit. And um, you can just like listen. I think the music is like really good in the first one. I mean the soundtrack. When replaying the original gothic again, we realized how outdated certain aspects would uh, be perceived nowadays. That's true. Are obvious things like the UI controls and the combat system that weren't even praised back in the day. I thought some of our team even had a soft uh, spot for those when they first played, among uh, other things that we wanted to revamp the enhance, uh, enhance the immersion and believable can read of the game. Uh, I don't know exactly what's happening with me and why can I read, but it's fine. But how could we add a new spin of those elements, uh, but maintaining against strength, the rough original atmosphere? Could we tell you the same old story, but adding some new situation and some new places to make it more believable? This is one hour long playable teaser of the new approach, and we, with it, we want to get your thoughts. Welcome to the colony again. So basically, I'm gonna play this um, 25 or 30 minutes. We're gonna split it into parts. I don't wanna play the entire thing. 
some people might be too long for them and maybe they wouldn't want to see okay i really like this from the beginning like the gothic like reminds me a lot of like the original text you know when you get into it i also own gothic like i own the entire collection of steam uh, let's lower the sound to begin with i think i can play it on a controller to be fair as well looks like everything it's on epic which i don't mind that but i hope it's not gonna lag let's lower the master can i do that um, I mean you, you could leave the master all the way up. Let's lower the music. Usually the music it's kind of one like to be you know in the background and stuff Especially for the videos that I'm doing because sometimes like really loud and can get over my Commentary basically and I don't want that. Okay, we're gonna start a new game Free to explore You're free to explore the surroundings, but you might encounter some very powerful couldn't read that I'm not the, the first reader, also my English, like the, the English, Invited by King I'm gonna shut up now. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. Okay. All except one. The war against the orcs, orcs. took okay. toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. Okay. It's exactly like in but the... But something disturbed the delicate Good structure coin. of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. The convicts took control of Corinius. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. But his former slaves now demanded a high price. Month after month, the king supplied everything Same the thing we're needed what can in said exchange of tons of ore until the present day. Another convict was brought to the lift. That's me. He did not know, but he would change everything. Okay, so basically in Gothic 1 you play as this character name. I, I mean, it's not named. I think you're like a character that you don't have a name. You're like name nameless, if I remember correctly. At least I think that's how people call you around, like stuff like that. Okay, looks like we're going. So I don't want to be blind to the, to all of this, but like for me. You'll never get caught. No okay. course. Now Let's let him be talk. You and me, my friend. No weapons. No food. <laughs> just a simple scroll. Hmm? Who are you and how What's happening down there? What the oh! Okay. Frame rate it's a little low. Maybe everything that should be on uh you know on epic should be more lowered. Allow me one moment to try to. Okay, guys, let's see now. Okay. Frame rate is a little bit odd. I know that was a cutscene, so it's not yet gameplay, so I'm waiting for it. This is gonna. Okay, that would normally would kill me. Oh, I fall into water. I think this is how you start like the first game as well. Like they, I think they actually throw you into this pit. And you're just like falling into water, and that's that's how you don't die. Oh god damn it! Okay, <laughs> the voice the actor. It's happened? oh god damn it! Laughing at oh, like someone else's accent when I do have an accent myself. Oh, it's really, one piece. really hilarious. Oh, God, no blood. Oh, where's the scroll? Oh, it's all right. Great. Okay. 
I don't remember what was with the scroll. My brain is like, nope. I need to play the first Gothic as well again. Like, I played it once and I keep delaying it. And I think I played like 2009 or some shit like that. So it, it's been a long time. Other people, like, I think they played it when it, like, 2000 and something when it came out, 2001 or something like that. I think it was in the beginning, yeah, 2001. Okay, the game definitely looks interesting so far. Old mechanic, old torch. Where are we? What a mess. What's going on here? Our face is still looking odd, which I like it. I think it was like a future of the nameless. I don't like the hair. I don't remember being like blonde. And I think it looks weird as like in a. I don't know how it's named in English, like a man bun, I guess. It's in a bun. Okay. The frame is still really odd. Like, the game is running like a 20, 10, 29, almost 30, 30 frames. Maybe that's how the teaser is made? I don't know for sure, no. It doesn't seem to be lagging or anything like that. Just in the cutscene, it seemed like it was a little bit weird or slower. Can I take that? I, I see that. It's like a gemstone in there. One thing that I really like about like Gothic and Rise and stuff like that, like old games, was the fact that you can just like find like so much loot and shit. Because I'm like used to loot everything. Like that's one of the big features that I really love about those games. It's like me being able to loot the shit out of everything. I'm gonna do take my time with this game, so just in case if I need to do three episodes on it, like on this entire like journey, I'll do it. Try to keep it like to half an hour as I said. And hopefully I don't have to mess around with my frame minute too much. Okay. Again. Good. Okay, I could go up here, I could go the other way. We can sprint, which is a new thing. And we can jump. I know all the gothic games from what I remember, I don't think you can sprint, I don't think you have like a stamina. But I don't particularly remember, especially the one, the first one. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. Let me check one more time some settings and I'll be right back just because it bothers me the frame rate. Okay guys, I'm back. I fucked a little more with it and the settings and everything. Uh, it uh, doesn't really, just doesn't really go upward and third, straight, third, something frame for me. I don't know why. Maybe be the entire fire or maybe just it's not optimized that well, I guess. But yeah. If you have like a needy, I mean, if it's an RPG as big as Go Take One, then you probably need to have like a. Like if they make like a really quality making graphics and everything, you probably need like a beefy PC to play it. My PC is pretty decent, well, it's not really beefy on. though, so it could be my PC, so oh, shit. currently it's working fine, so I'm not gonna complain too much oh, about God it. Damn it. Okay, I can hear some people. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, I really hated the works in the first game. Like they really they're really strong. Oh my god, what the hell? And also nameless the nameless uh, dude in the first game doesn't talk. Let's see. <laughs> His face is still ugly as shit. I appreciate that. Right. I don't know, like a distinct feature for me was like in the first game, you. like I need it more than you do at the moment. The dude is really ugly, <laughs> that's Come it. On, my Okay. Oh god damn it. Shit. He's broken. Oh, yeah, I remember that as well. Well, this is better than nothing, I guess. I think in the first game you also like the first you game the first sword you get it's a broken sword. I'm curious what people said. Maybe I'm going to like check the steam after this. Oh. But what the hell? What? Where are you? Okay, easy boy. <laughs> Let's make it easy for both of us. Okay, okay, calm down. Worst prison ever. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. Okay. Can we do quick saves? Question. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I did, but I'm back now. I just pressed like an F button. I was curious if I could do quick saves and just like everything just went to shit. Oh, yeah, well, this boy. This doesn't look good at all. Doesn't it? Does it? Doesn't it? Does it? It doesn't. Okay, cool. Hello, friend. 
What the this hell? Guy lost a leg. Oh, he had the armor. Oh, I, I like the armor. Like the armor does it remind me a lot of like the first Gothic. It's so nice to to see that they keep that you know design. Oh, come on. Okay, now I think it's our first fight scene. It can't be real. Let's see how the combat differs from the first game. Hello. You've already had your time, right? Then I'll be on my way. I won't be bothering you. Okay, okay, easy now. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, let me go. <laughs> well, you guys ask for it. Okay, three one one, huh? Okay. Move to change your pose. You can attack or block in, in uh, three different directions. This attack can be performed from left to right, uh, right to left, or forward. Okay. Strong attack. Space to perform a dash. Okay. Alt to switch target. I don't know if I, if. if should be worth it to play this on a controller, but I don't know why I did. How do I hold? Can I hold my guard up? I really don't see to be fair. But that's my stamina. I have a stamina bar. Okay. I don't see shit. Can I get out of here? What the fuck happened? Oh. I don't think I was able to beat them anyway, but Oh come on. What are you waiting for? Have you had enough? I was kinda swinging blindly to be fair. <laughs> so I was not the only one, you know, in the cutscene. I was doing the same thing. I guess I'm gonna be saved by someone or something. Maybe my scroll. Oh, it's um. What was his name? I don't think in the first game it's I'm um, saved like that. I don't remember, but like I know You're this guy. Alive. Congratulations, Diego. On surviving your first day. Okay. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Cool. Maybe I, now, now that we got out of there, the frame rate is gonna be a little better. A little bit well. better. Oh, good morning. Yes, I believe I did. Although I don't remember very much of what happened yesterday. You discovered the local form. I don't know if I like the fact that he Those talks now. <laughs> are very violent at night. Conversely, they're somewhat more docile during the day. Oh, so that was just a night? We were not in a cave or something? Luckily, I arrived to hunt something for breakfast. Okay. Better than you, eh? <laughs> Their meat is a bit tough, but it tastes better than rookie meat. <laughs> By the way, we haven't been introduced. My name is Diego. Oh yeah, it is and Diego. I'm okay, the leader of the shadows in the, in the old, old camp. camp. Okay. I'm yeah, yeah. That's not important. You're a convict in the colony now. New prison, new life. That's what people say, anyway. I'm going to call you Rookie. I'm okay. going to call you Rookie. All right with you? Hey, that scroll belongs to me. Yes. I borrowed it while you were asleep. Don't worry, Rookie. I'll give it back to you when we leave. It's an unusual document. 
Normally, rookies come in here with scrolls, listing their crimes. <laughs> that legal formality is meaningless here. I'm just waiting for them it to doesn't talk. Matter what crimes you committed outside? You'll have plenty of time to work them off here. <laughs> if you live long enough. So basically, Yours, on the other hand, we're just like extracting war. Special. It's red and carries a Do a, a crime dig and like throw it here. It's a scroll intended for mages. So someone maybe send us here with a scroll. Find out the value of the scroll. Find uh, what to do. Why me? Why did they give such an important document to me? I suppose they entrusted that it would reach its intended recipients. Whether you were alive or, or dead. dead. Okay. Many rookies don't survive their first day. Especially. We don't even know why we months. fell in here. Like what happened when we Those was burning an explosion and everything. And recover the scrolls. Are paid very well by the mages. There are people here who can make anything into okay. a job, and the desperation doesn't help. You're not as special as you thought, <laughs> eh, <Hey>, rookie? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll have to report yesterday's attack to Gomez. Oh yeah, Gomez. Shortly. But before we leave here, do you have any questions, rookie? Um, the colony? So what do I need to know about this place? <laughs> Let's start with the basics. I we think we can still sp can we speed colony. up through this? Let me see. And we produce all for the king. Nope. Like in the old At games, you can speed through text in case you just like get bored with some conversation or something. Or you asked again Inside by mistake. Inside the barrier, there are three camps, and if you want to stay alive, games look good. Like the game is looking good. The old camp. I mean, his hair looks a little bit odd, but that's because it like lowers some the shit. I and think. Oldest of the three, and well, part of my job is also to tell. The new arrivals. But it's the best place for them. Okay. Ah, uh, this is a lot. Join the old camp, other camps, Gomez. Find old camp, other camps. And what about the other camps? <laughs> Listen, rookie. Alongside the old camp, the new camp and the sect are nothing more than carnivals of mayhem and looting. Okay. In the old camp, you'll encounter people from those places who can better explain to you how things work here. Oh, okay. As for me, I'll just tell you. There were like sides that you that can you could join from when I remember. Are a bunch of thieves. And also things like you no can be mage or your or like, the people in the sect. I guess something else. Are all madmen obsessed with certain herbs? <laughs> As you can see, oh, he's talking about I'm the people in the swamp. From a position of okay. absolute impartiality. <laughs> <laughs> I like Diego. I like how they made him. But yeah, I like the fact, that, like on the Gothic, like they always, like the first game and stuff, like they always have like this rough faces, like you know, uh, usually with like mustache, beard, and stuff like that, and just like you know, they look, I don't know, like tough, I guess, or like they've been through shit. Um Earlier you mentioned someone named Gomez. Who is he? Gomez is the leader of the All Barons. He's the head of the old camp. I still can skip through the text. most powerful man in the colony. This is like the he thing of an RPG, like sometimes it's like really nice to get into the story itself. The and maintaining order. I mean, that's why you play like RPG, I guess. Inside this barrier. Well, there is a bow there. Can I pick that? He's rather... Peculiar. 
A man of refined tastes and expensive. Having Diego could teach me hunt, hunt, like hunting. You'll maybe? see what I mean when you get to know him. Okay. Find old camp. How do I find the old camp? Take this path. Past the clearing with the old tree, there's a guard post. And an abandoned mine. If you go through it, you'll get to the old camp. However, the door is closed for security reasons until I issue the order to open it. I'll go there after breakfast. You can come with me if you want. Okay. Let's... Can we join or how do we join? Let's say I want to join the old camp. Okay. What do I have to do? That Ooh, would be question. wonderful news. No doubt about it. You should go to the castle gate. So they're like in the middle of this there. thing? No, You'll that's like in the Gothic 3. I'm Thoris. not retarded. Tell him I sent you. So this entire place is surrounded basically Thoris by bad the friendliest person on the planet. But he knows what he's doing. He'll tell you. Who you have to win over to be accepted. This just like makes me want to play the first game again. Oh, do, do, do. Hopefully they optim like optimize it really good when they release it for PC. Cause like I I don't care how fancy it's gonna look. You know I I rather like sacrifice graphic over gameplay. Like I wanted to just like, you know. Why did you help me? Work you good, because this is the first problem I face with the game, like, first, currently. It's like a little bit on the lower side when it comes to Call performance. It honor. Call it justice. No one should have to fight without a decent weapon and a fair shot at winning. Okay. But above all, I helped you because you're a rookie. I really like the rape here, that's is to heaven. Give you rookies an opportunity. Look, rookie, the colony is very dangerous. I think Diego is like one of the. And even more so. Like if you just like one of your friends until the end of the game. Without being properly equipped. Besides, all you newcomers have the curious habit of getting yourselves into trouble. But I won't always be around to help. Kind of speaks you. like slow, I would say. Hmm. Like, I would always be around were about to help last you. Night. Like, it's like in breaks between what Did he's you saying. See the attack on the lift? Uh, yes, I was there. Yes, I was part of the cargo in the lift when it happened. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> I was on the lift. Okay, I need to stop here, but happened. we're just like let this cutscene to finish. I, I mean, we're just gonna lift our butts from valuable. here, and then we're gonna end this episode. When we reach the old camp, I kind of wasted like sometimes in, in the beginning, so maybe I'll go for a I'm little sure longer. I'm sure will be very interested in hearing what you have to say. I get definitely been I've been not playing for like 30 minutes, so yeah. Okay, goodbye. Thank you very much. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. I'm curious if I can take the bow that's like hey, next to me. You showed promise in the fight, but that's not going to do much good without a weapon. Okay. And there are also lots of wild beasts between here and the camps. Thanks. It would be folly to travel unharmed. Yeah, I'll take that bow. You can start by taking a look around the exchange zone. Near the elevator. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Okay, so I when isn't you sore. get a decent weapon, come oh, back yeah, because this is a broken. Well go to the old camp. I think you're gonna give me that bow to me, but hey, you know what? You do, you penis man. Okay, so this is this is like more in the like the gameplay looks like how it looks like how it looked before. I said frame it's still not okay for me. Okay, if we hold control, they keep like an old mechanic, which I like. You're gonna like just walk. You don't sprint or just like you're not that fast, basically. Which is good. You can like walk and look around stuff. Okay, let's go to the next elevator and take some shit. And then, uh, okay. Okay. 
just gonna end this episode soon, I guess, but yeah. Oh, I think I can sprint, climb that. The thing that I don't like, it's like in the first game you don't have a stamina. And in this one you do. I don't like that. Oh, hello, you're uh, like something bug meat, right? Meat bug, yeah. You can just crash it? Okay. Oh yeah, you could do this in the same, in the world game as well. So next to the elevator, he said... It says that you can still pick up like stuff on the ground, like I think that's like one like a big part of the old game. Like you can basically just pick plants and shit like that. I hope they're gonna still include you know the smithing and uh, like just like being able to mine, um, and like find literally shit on the ground and just like everywhere, and you like sneak and just like steal. I f I hope that like still gonna be part of the game. Or nugget. Okay, there are like some wolves here. I think maybe I'm gonna find the elevator here. I think I can sit on a bench. Nope, I cannot, apparently. Okay, so is that the elevator that I need to go to? Um, Maybe that one. I don't know. I just need to find like a, like a proper sword, but I don't know exactly where. How do I pull my sword out? Do I only pull my sword out while in combat? I don't know if I can kill three wolves. Can I save? Oh, save game, yeah. Game saved. Cool. Okay, let's try to just engage with them, see what they can do. And, um... Okay. How do I pull my fucking weapon out? Okay, this is bogus. How do I pull my weapon out? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, cool. At least it's gonna give me back to my safe. Sure, kill me, wolf. Let's see what's happening when we die. Oh, that's cool. That's like the the thing from Gothic Horn. Okay, so I have no idea how I pull my weapon up. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna stop here. I'm gonna look a little bit into the feedback from other people on this game. Gonna look a little bit into more into settings, maybe it can make it to perform a little better. Because I don't like currently how it performs, not even the loadings and everything. I'm gonna learn how to pull my weapon out. And I think I'm gonna do like one or two more episodes on this one. It should be one hour long, but I'm also like over... I'm gonna probably look more into it and explore and just like, you know... I'm gonna be like searching and looking a little bit around. So yeah, I'll try to just like do some more 25-30 minutes episodes. So we'll see, we should be able to finish like 2 or 3 episodes on the max I think. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this don't forget to leave a like, if you have any other games that you want me to play don't forget to suggest that, support in any way you can, and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!